Hi, it's the Brooker That Gratitude Guy. Did you play golf yesterday? I was at a Starbucks uh, recently. I tend to go there a few times. And I heard a couple guys talking and, and actually turned out there's four or five guys in a circle. And the one guy goes, did you play golf yesterday? And he goes, oh yeah, I did this and I was at this and I had a tough chip on the third hole and so forth. And the other guy chips in, I should play golf. I was so bored. And the more I listened, the more I figured out these guys were all retired and they were talking about being bored, playing golf, uh, when they're going to take their next trip. Oh, the wife and I were up to the cabin. And I thought, that's fantastic. But when the guy said I was so bored, it made me realize how grateful I am to have embraced gratitude and to become the broker, that gratitude guy, but to show people the incredible power of gratitude. So think about those people in your life that you know and think about where you're headed. I've come to really not particularly care for this word retire. Every time I think about somebody retiring, I think about, hey, how much golf can you play? You know, how many times can you go to the cabin? That might work for some people. But what I want you to think about today is be grateful for all these incredible things you have in your life and don't worry about the things you don't have. And as you focus more on the things you have in your life, you'll find your passion. Your passion is what takes you up to and through retirement and on and beyond to what you can do to maybe give back in this life or maybe something that you wanted to do when you were, when you were a kid and you said, this is what I want to do when I grow up. Well, maybe in many cases you never did. So think about that. And the next time you see somebody talking about how bored they are or how much golf they're playing or what kind of chip shot they had on the third hole, think about what your purpose might be and think about what you're grateful for and think about how you may be able to make that into something that you do and you get to impact lives or change lives. But it starts with you being grateful for your life, for what you've learned and all those great things you have in your life. And then maybe you can spin that off and do something with your life that makes you completely fulfilled inside and it's not just a chip shot in the third greed. That's the message for today. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.